Spain has now replaced Italy as the country with the second most cases. There are more than 120,000 people in Spain who've contracted the virus. The U.S. remains the country with the highest number of cases at more than 270,000. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have given some clarity on a hotly debated topic, especially in the states. It's recommending that people wear cloth face coverings in public settings where it can be hard for people to socially distance themselves from others. This advice goes for everyone, even if they have zero symptoms, because recent data shows there are many people with the virus who are asymptomatic. Crafty Turkish police are quite literally spelling out their message to people. Using confiscated pink pills, they spelled out stay at home for people in Istanbul. Police showed more than 800,000 ecstasy pills and more than 80 pounds of cocaine, among other drugs. Turkey has more than 20,000 confirmed cases of the novel coronavirus, making it number nine globally. China held a ceremony to mourn the thousands of people in the country who have died from COVID-19. More than 3,300 people in mainland China have died in the pandemic. People in Barbados rushed to buy groceries and other supplies and had to wait in long lineups before the start of a 24-hour curfew. This went into effect Friday night. The number of cases of the novel coronavirus jumped from 46 to 51 in Barbados within a day. Garment factories in Bangladesh have been emptied out as production has stopped for 10 days. They were told the factories will close until April 5th, but they're waiting on word to see if the shutdown will continue. Bangladesh is the second largest apparel producer in the world after China. Pink announced she and her young son, Jameson, both tested positive for the novel coronavirus two weeks ago, but they got retested and no longer have it. The singer is now giving a million dollars to relief efforts in the States. Thanks for watching Global News. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.